Welcome back to Sprague Homestead. So today I'm going to show you kind of a brief overview on how to sex your rabbits. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you is on a little doe. Now this little gal is only eight weeks old. And sometimes on the smaller, younger rabbits, it can be kind of a challenge to see what you're looking at. Uh, obviously on the bigger rabbits, which I'll show you in a minute, it's a little easier. Now to turn these guys over, and it's always a little, little funny with juniors, they kick a lot. You kind of go through and then you kind of scruff with your pinky just to kind of give yourself a measure of control because they always kick. Swoop the butt, turn them over. All right, so now that we've got them in position, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, this is the area we're looking for. Kind of push down with your thumb, pull back with your other finger. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right, so in a little dough, see where that's in marked slit? Because you gotta, you gotta really kind of push down to make sure that you've exposed that sex area. But that slit tells you that this is a little doe. Okay, so this is a little boy. So let's go ahead and look at him. Okay, same thing, in position. Pushing with our, our thumb. And he's actually old enough, he's about 12 weeks. You can actually get his penis to fully extend and expose himself. And there's a bit of a difference. So those, the Trianto we just had out was about 12 weeks. Now this little guy is also an eight week old American. And you're gonna see a pretty big difference. For one, the penis doesn't usually push out as far, but see how that is markedly different than the first one that we had. That is definitely a circle. So this indicates that this is a little buck, um, it, but just at this age, they don't, they don't push out with the extension that something at 12 and 13 weeks does. Okay, so now I'll show you a full size buck and you can kind of see the difference. Now, of course, with the eight week old, we had the circle and the 12 week old, we had an actual extension, but you still couldn't find the testicles. What's gonna be different in a full size buck, come here, hon, don't stick your head in there, is you should be able to find the testicles. If you, if you push aside right there, these right here are going to be your testicles and you'll have one on either side now sometimes you get bucks with a retained testicle you don't want to breed that anyway but then to actually expose him same thing you push down with your thumb in with the other finger and he'll pop right out so on a full-size bug now I've, I've had people buy older rabbits and uh think that they're getting a doe because they really didn't know to check but in an older rabbit anything over about five months in most breeds, um, you should start to see those testicles develop and they should be exposed kind of like that. So um, in an older buck, anything five months and older, look for that first and then look for the penis. Um, some of your bigger breeds, uh, French lops, English lops, that kind of stuff like to suck them up in there. <laughs> so if you find the thinly furred area, but don't actually find any testicles, look for the penis and then kind of feel around in there. Sometimes they'll suck those testicles up and you can actually feel them with your thumb even if you can't see them. So let me go ahead and get a doe out, a full size adult doe and kind of show you how she looks different on the underside from this guy. All right, so in your adult female, the first thing you can look for, see there is no thinly furred areas like we had on the buck. So everything's well furred, there's no bald spots. Same thing, thumb down, pull across. See how much she opens? Now, a, a, a doe ready to breed like she is, she's very flushed pink and purple and red, uh, will protrude a little bit. So you could see where, where she stuck out just a little bit, but it was a noticeable slit, not a huge extension like a penis. Uh, so obviously she's a girl. Now, sometimes you'll get something called a split penis and I don't have any here to show, um, but it's where with a buck, when you fully extend, and I mean fully extend that penis out, it actually will have a slit. It's a genetic uh, abnormality, I guess. Um, it'll have a slit in it to where it'll actually roll open and it will kind of look like a doe. So it's important to be looking for those testicles in addition to that. Um, a lot of times you can kind of tell because even in the young rabbit, the penis will be very pointy um, and it just won't look like what we've seen in the other guys. They've kind of had a rounded opening. And then it, as they got older, it actually extended pretty good. Um, in a split penis, it'll, as they're young, it really won't be as round as it should be. You might be kind of thinking, eh, I don't know if it's a doe or a buck. 
those are the ones you really want to watch um, because they could be split later on. It could just be a slow forming rabbit, but it, it could be a split. But like I said, they push out, they, they fold open, they look like a doe, but then of course they'll have testicles. And that is, uh, is something you want to cull out of your herd. You don't want to try and breed uh, anything with a split penis. Some people say they don't breed. Uh, I know people who have bred them, so they, they will. It depends on the severity of the split and how much form is left to the penis to actually be able to insert when they're breeding. All right, so that's kind of an overview on how to sex your rabbit. If you have questions, leave them down in the bottom and I will do my best to get back to you. It takes some time and some practice. And I know when I first started learning how to do it, um, every now and then I would have to take a picture and send it off to a girlfriend who's a register and say, I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I have also had it where I was absolutely confident, gone to a show, had a buck that was, um, or a doe entered that turned out to be a buck. So it, it does happen. It takes some time to get used to them. My suggestion when you're starting out, start trying to sex them at about six weeks. This is the most dangerous age. Um, just because it's it's really easy to manipulate them. So sometimes you'll you'll take a, a buck and maybe put too much pressure on and kind of lengthen that thing out and make it look like a doe. So what I like to do when I first started is I would, at six weeks, go through sex everybody, write B or D with a Sharpie as far down into the year as I could get, come back in two weeks, come back in two weeks, come back in two weeks, or until you butcher them, and kind of get a feel for it. Because they do change as they go, and um, a little hands-on practice goes a long way when you're doing this. So like I said, leave a comment in the bottom if you got one, and we will see you next time. Stay safe, stay happy, happy homesteading. We'll see you next time.